Zanzi Women's Film Festival on behind the scenes today, Monday. Uh, we hanging out with festival organizer Palisa Mazamisa as well as uh, Beverly DT. Let me just leave the, the Palisa name out <laughs> so we know who we're talking to. Yep. Beverly, yeah, bro. talk to us about some of those challenges. <laughs> okay, I've got, uh, I've got a long bit music. Yeah, for you. no, it's just you know what, I don't even know where to begin. I think mm. the, mo the moment you walk onto a set, yeah and people figure out that you are the director, already it's like you are half, half, half qualified, you are no half way. equipped. Um, generally speaking, the level of disrespect, mm. you have to establish the respect right from bat, but even that doesn't really matter. So I walk onto any set with a suit of armor, mm -hmm. because I already know oh, okay. that either I'm going to be ignored by a camera guy, and they're mostly men. Oh, you're talking about the crew? I'm yeah. talking about from yeah. crew, I'm talking about when I, when you are on a set, in Because I'm, think, I'm thinking maybe actors, you know, some uh, of the no, seasoned even, actors you know what? Are, actors, who's this? No, actors, actors, I think actors have a thing where they understand that, you know, we are all in the craft and mm. we are all in the arts in a mm -hmm. different way. There's a different level wow. of interactions that we have. I mm. mostly don't deal with actors because I mostly make actuality, reality mm. um, and documentary. Mm -hmm. But do you right? find that some of those, those, those guys that you struggle with, um, they, they, they tend to do exactly what you need because, I mean, you're the director. You need I, I, to let them know exactly what you want. But that's what I mean, mm. is that you walk onto a set with a suit of armor and you make sure you establish that you are the director right from bed. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, people will walk all over you. Wow. I've had instances where camera guys just will not shoot what you want. Mm. I've, you know, where they will, they will like click the camera, but they're not going to shoot what you want. Mm. I mean, this is my vision. I'm here. I'm directing this thing. I'm, I didn't just wake up and go, oh, I want to be a director. No, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I know what I'm mm. doing. Yeah. But you walk onto a situation where you're constantly having to butt heads with people just to kind of prove that you know what you're doing. Wow, yeah. um, and it's constant. It can be in an edit suite. It can be in the audio suite. It mm. can be, it doesn't even matter where it is. You're constantly dealing with it. Mm. Um, so you're not just walking in as an artist coming to do your, what you need to do. Mm. And then comes the broadcast or trying to get your film distributed mm. or trying to like, again, you walk into a situation where you have to prove that, oh, I've got a few credits under my belt. And no, I did not get the credits simply because I'm a girl. I got it because I know what I'm doing. Yes. Yes. I'm good yes. at what I do. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're constantly having to prove this. Sure. Mm. So, so it's, it's I mean, it is, it's, a, it's a constant fight. I mean, yes, we love what we do and we enjoy what we do. But you are constantly at war. Yeah. I want, I want, I want, I want to transfer that energy to, to, to Palesana. Like, like hearing what you're hearing now from Bev and you as the organizer of uh, the Mzanzi Women, uh, Women's Film Festival, what, 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 what kind of support do you get from men uh, when it comes to women artists, uh, female artists, female directors, female actors? And like, what, what kind of support do you guys get from men when it comes to film? Mm. Well, like, like Bev said, you constantly have to prove yourself. Mm. Um, it's, there's also this idea that when you as a woman enter these spaces, it's mm. like you're elbowing your way in. Wow. And um, rather than, than seeing it as you have a right to, to be, be in the in space. space. Mm. So it's really that, oh, look, look at them, here they mm -hmm. are again, trying to occupy spaces that do not belong to them. Mm -hmm. So um, oh. I do want to mention yeah. one thing. Um, we are hosting a panel discussion with SWIFT. Mm -hmm. SWIFT is the sisters working in film and television. Mm -hmm. So SWIFT has done research on sexual uh, harassment and discrimination in the industry. So our panel discussion on, on Saturday will look into those issues. Mm -hmm. Is it this Saturday? This coming Saturday okay. at the festival. So they're going to expand on these issues. So they've spoken to women of at different uh, levels all across the industry. And they've compiled all of this into, into um, research. And it's very interesting what's coming out of them. Mm. So I think that even dis the, it, it deserves a discussion on its own. Mm. But <coughs> sorry, but as 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 Beth was saying, support. I don't know. You're still wor it's work in progress. <laughs> work in progress. Mm. It's a work in yeah. progress. Yeah. I think we're still at the level where we need to need to realize that no women are not forcing their way in. Mm. 
we deserve to be in this space. Mm. It's just like anybody else. And it churned out great products as well. So Amazing films. Yeah. All right, cool. Absolutely. I think it's, it's people who, who are insecure who, who would block All people the time, from right? succeeding yeah. or try to. Yeah. Yeah. It just uh, highlights this, insecurity. This weekend, sorry, Paul, this weekend is, uh, is the actual weekend of the film festival, right? Correct. Okay, where is it? Give us all the details. <laughs> okay, so our opening night, um, but it's by invite only, mm -hmm. is on Thursday, the 3rd of August. Then the actual um, public event starts from Friday the 4th mm -hmm. to Sunday the 6th. It's going to be hosted at the Bunting Road campus of UJ. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that's closer to, to the SABC. SABC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we're using the School of Tourism and Hospitality as our venues, mm -hmm. and um, there'll be volunteers, there'll be people around to, to show, show people where to go. Mm -hmm. The film starts screening from 12 noon till mm -hmm. about, the last film will show at 8, so it will probably be, be till about 10. Mm -hmm. Um, then we are having special um, screenings, um, some South African films like Hatchet Hour by Judy, Judy Naidu. We're showing Nomfundo by Sifle Flope. We've got Strike a Rock by Aliki mm -hmm. Zaragas. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of local films that we want to highlight mm -hmm. and, and um, really celebrate. Yeah. Because a lot of times, these women have made these amazing films that have largely been ignored. Mm -hmm. And so we're very proud and honored that we can give them this platform. Yeah. Um, so on we are hosting the panel discussion with Swift on Saturday. It's from two to um, five. Yes, from two to five. Mm -hmm. Also at the School of Hospitality and Tourism. Mm -hmm. Then we've got three outreach areas. We are screening films at Constitution Hill. Mm -hmm. These films are specifically related to reproductive health and sexual health issues. Mm -hmm. And this is also, you know, with all these, the killings and the abuse of, of women and girls mm -hmm. that we've been experiencing mm -hmm. over the past months, mm -hmm. well, that's been highlighted. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to make sure that um, we highlight these films and we have a platform to use film um, as a way to discuss these issues so that it's not just intellectual, mm -hmm. that people can relate at an emotional and visual level to, to the issues that women and girls are experiencing. Yeah. So how do we gain access to these venues? Okay, so um, at UJ, just, you can just arrive. We do have a small fee. It's 10 rand per day okay. and 25 rand for, for the entire weekend. And then we're not having any fees at Constitution Hill, but mm -hmm. if people are interested, they can just go and um, go to the venue and support. take part and mm -hmm. support um, the films and the discussions that will be happening there. As one Palisa, thank you so much, Bev. I'm going to give you the last word here because uh, you know she, she she has said quite a lot. You covered everything you wanted to cover, right? Uh, thank you. There you go. I'm I'm gonna give you the last word here, uh -huh. just as a word of encouragement to other women that are involved in filmmaking. Uh, I mean, next year is still another year. I'm, sh I'm pretty sure. I mean, you guys have been running for four years. You're going for your fifth year now and all that. How do you encourage them to, uh, to be a part of this thing? I think what's sad is that it's, it's, you have to give up eventually. I, I'm seeing a lot of sisters giving up. Mm. Um, I try to find female DOPs. There aren't many. Mm. In fact, there are two female DOPs in this whole country that are mm. black mm. that I know mm. who are still working in the industry. And it's a simple thing. Mm. Is that if you're broke and you need to feed your children and your family, and we've got extended family members that we feed, mm. and you're not getting a job because you're a girl on camera, you will eventually find another job. Mm -hmm. yeah. So unfortunately, realistically, sisters are giving up. Sisters are giving up editing, sisters are giving up uh, the camera work, because it's very different when you've got a woman on camera. Mm. When another woman walks past, they are not looking at tits and, and can I say the other word? They're not looking uh, at that. They're uh, looking uh, at. They're uh, looking just at, keep keep it out of the yeah, family, family radio story. station. <clears throat> they're telling a story <clears throat> differently to. We'll how apologize a guy. for you for the other word. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. You know, they yeah. they they they're looking at 
a different story to how a man films and how mm. a man shoots. Mm. And a lot of the time, the stories we want to tell, you want to be sensitive to the subject. Mm. So you want a female DOP. Yeah. There aren't any in this country. Mm. So sisters out there, please, if you're passionate about filming, please get into it and don't give up. You've got people like me who will mentor. Mm. You've got people like Bella says, also a filmmaker, not just mm. a festival coordinator. Mm. You know, there mm. will be people who will mentor you. Please do not give up. Come to us. Let's do this. And of course, the industry out there, we need to be looking out for each other and mm. not just selecting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just people don't give up. Mm. I think that's all I'm trying to say. Yeah. And where yeah. do we find yeah. the both of you? Uh, uh, I'm on social media. Mm -hmm. um, at Bev Ditsi. Uh, Bev Ditsi on Facebook. Bev Ditsi. Uh, D-I-T-S-I with an okay. E at the end. Oh, okay. uh -huh. um, I'm Bev Ditsi on the... Uh, Insta, mm -hmm. uh, because people think Dizzy is dizzy, but uh, I've got some dizzy, good dizzy days and good bad dizzy days. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Balisa? Right, Balisa? Um, you can find us on Facebook at Mzanzi Women's Film Festival or um, Twitter is Mzanzi WF.